All right, guys, welcome to another adventure. I'm here in the beautiful Lake District. Have a couple of hours left till sundown. It's cold, it's wet, has been raining for ages. I only have a tarp with me, no tent today. I'm in this beautiful, really wild looking area. Had no plan, came across it, I'm gonna explore it. And the combination of cold and wet makes it for uh, perfect hypothermia weather. I'm trying to find a way to cross this river here. There's better uh, land to camp on the other side according to the map. See if I can find a safe way to do it. This is gorgeous guys, those waterfalls behind me, a really beautiful spot, I may not have to cross the river, probably a good thing, crossing the river in winter now alone, probably not a necessary thing is it? Just to give you an idea of how high this river can get, this is a good indication over here, like where I am about chest deep. That's the last time the river probably flooded and uh, quite recently probably and all this debris got stuck there indicating the levels. Moses stick for the wind. Oh yeah! would make a great shelter in dry in dry weather. We've got this overhang over here. If this was dry in the summer maybe, you could just put a BB there and you're done. Really beautiful. Alright guys, I think I found my general area for camping. I'm gonna set up a tarp over here. I've seen a little tree that's uh, dead and could be a potential hazard to me so I'm just gonna bring it down. It's already super dead, rotten, but uh, I'd rather preemptively bring it down than it fall on my head. It's a bit wet here still, a little drier here, so this is going to be camp. The sun's coming out, it's going to be gorgeous, so beautiful. So for my shelter today I'm just going to go for a simple plow point. Now the point's going to go there, it's going to go down and it's going to cover me from about three different directions out of four and I'm going to have a beautiful view of the water and the sunset as the evening progresses. But, not quite at all. I'm just gonna loop a line over here and uh, tie it to that tree. Give me a bit more uh, headroom there. So there's this massive uh, fallen tree over here, which uh, was obviously alive when it fell, maybe to a uh, strong wind. Uh, but I'm gonna use some of these little boughs to uh, line the floor, make it a little bit warmer off the floor and uh, nicer to sleep on. Oh, it smells gorgeous, guys. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Much better than all this sheep poop, I tell you that. <laughs> Looking more homely by the minute. That's pretty nice. One more, one more batch and I should be good. So 
my sleep system today is going to be really simple guys I'm going to use a BV bag Thermarest X-Therm uh, sleeping mat inside and Rab Asset 700 sleeping bag which is rated to comfort minus 2 I believe oh yeah it's comfy man nothing wrong with that I told you time to go for a dip in the freezing river uh, what I've made sure is I'm leaving this ready to go to make a hot brew have my clothes out, my down jacket ready as well as my little towel. I'll take this with me. I will head out into the river. The sun's just come out. It's the perfect time to do it. No time like the present. Let's go. This is beautiful. This is a spot to go in for sure. Huh? Some rapids over there. and My heart is going, man. Oh, mamma mia. It's gonna be a cold one. Generous towel. Oh, buddy. I think I'm gonna go in and then find out because I don't really want to know the number. It's cold. It's very, very cold. Oh boy. Woo. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, that is freezing. Whoa. 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 She's a cold one. 6, 6.3, but it feels so much colder. <sighs> yeah, painful, super painful. Time to go. Ah, ouch. That's what it's all about. Pushing outside the comfort zone. All perspective, now it feels warm, you know? <laughs> well, just as I'm coming in, it started to rain, so perfect timing. A little bit of drizzle. Looks like it's coming from there. A little bit dark cloud, so I'm gonna sit in the shelter for a bit, wait the rain out, have a nice uh, brew, a little coffee. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nice in here. So for my coffee, I'm filtering my water first. That way, I don't have to boil the water. It saves me fuel. All right, the rain now. Something about the tarp, you know, just uh, the tent kind of secludes you away and you miss this. You know, I'm dry and comfortable here. And I still get to see everything happening. Cheers. So getting out there, guys. You know, yesterday I was packing my bag and uh, kept going back and forth. Should I get out there? Is the weather going to be good? Should, is it worth the drive? Is it worth the effort? Next time you're doubting, just remember that once you get through that door, the adventure begins and you'll thank yourself for doing it. So, look, sun's coming out now. Absolutely gorgeous. Plant-based chocolate, roasted hazelnut, 70% dark. All right. <laughs>
already working out guys everything's too wet I'm gonna put one fire starter that I have I have only one in the middle of this and if it works great if not then I don't really need a fire so if you were in nature and you fell in the water and your fire was your only chance of staying alive imagine that I took so much time to try and find the driest woods I even found birch bark quite good quality one still failed so you know nature humbles you So nice. One Celsius at the moment. I actually stepped uh, pretty well here with the BV. Make sure you put your filter inside. I put it inside my sleeping bag in case the temperature drops to below zero. If the filter freezes, it damages the filter and then it, you can't use it again. So look after it and it's gonna look after you. Left everything as we found it as you would expect respect nature please if you're out here come here with love and leave it how you found it please so we can all enjoy it whoa Woo. be careful slippery stuff <laughs> over now guys thanks for watching as always love you